a good bake on the bottom. You've really got that creaminess coming through from the apple sauce and the crumble just gives it that little bit of extra bite. My donut of the day, I'd reward this one an eight out of 10, all day long. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Alex from Hack Engineering. You're back today with Ian's lovely E28. Your first thing you're going to notice is it's back on the floor and it is rolling, which is great news. It's been up on the ramp for quite a while, hence its dusty state. But um, subframes all powder coated and built back up. Steering's all connected. We've got a new M5, E28 M5 steering rack in there. So we're going to get a slightly better steering response. If you know about these five series, you're able to know they're, they're obviously user box rather than a rack opinion sort of rack. So their steering can be a little bit vague. So uh, trying to tighten things up a little bit. Maybe Ian will go for a, a rack and pinion upgrade in the future, but for the now we're sticking with the box. And uh, today's episode, we're actually gonna be looking at sort of what parts we've got here on the shelf and what we're gonna be fitting to the engine and what we're also gonna be fitting to the chassis. We've got a couple more upgrades sort of at the back end of the car, which we're gonna be looking at. So uh, let's crack on and have a look at those parts and uh, go from there. We've had a bit of a chopper change around in the workshop, so we've got our workbench here with a couple of the goodies I was talking about earlier. What have we got, Ben? Um, I mean, Ian's engine is a full full build, so we've got a bit of everything out here. There's a few bits obviously missing, but um, yeah, got a nice cylinder head in front of us, which Alex is going to talk you through in a moment. Um, bottom end wise, the block is being honed today. It is. That's Do I hold you to that? This afternoon, I wouldn't hold me to it. <laughs> Work comes in, you know, it's very busy. Yeah. It's not a case of staying around making videos all day. We've got to keep the business running and, and cracking mm. on at the same time. Yeah. But I'm hoping to get, get in front of the home today and um, actually get a couple of blocks done, and Ian's is going to be one of them. Mm. So the block is being honed for these Ross Racing Pistons, which um, not a brand we've really done a lot with, to be honest, but um, they seem like very nice bits of kit. Coated skirts, 11 and a half to one compression ratio. I can't remember what bore. 94? 94. 94, <laughs> 94 mil. 94 mil bore. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, a quite a nice bore area. What's that? Two mil over standard. Yeah. Um, standard. So, quite a bit more capacity in there. Um, probably round it up to a full 3.5 rather than yeah. the 3.4, 343, 0 cc they are at the moment. Um, it's got forged rods as well. The crank is away being balanced at the moment. It's got a nice clutch and flywheel for it, um, which part of that change is so they can run a dog leg gearbox, which is also somewhere yeah. Yeah, that's high in the unit. Yeah. All ready to be fitted up. Yeah. What's the story with the cylinder head then, Alex? Unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to mm. um, lay my hands on it. Ian's actually you know, supplied this, and I think, I think he actually bought the cylinder head first, and the, the project sort of snowballed from that. So I've got a nice head. I'd best get a nice bottom end sorted mm. and then I've got a nice engine. I'd best get a nice engine bay to have it sitting in. It was originally booked in just to have this head put on it. Yeah, I think it was. So, um, yeah, things have escalated. So yeah, it's all sort of snowballed a bit, as we've sort of said, as with all old cars do. But it is a lovely bit of kit and there's quite a few upgrades on it. You're obviously going to notice them in inlet manifolds. We'll get to them in a minute. We've actually got quite a few little upgrades in the valve train. Obviously, all the seats have been cut. Uh, valves have been ground and then we've got quite a lot of aftermarket parts we've got mm. after, aftermarket springs aftermarket caps it's got new collets in there uh, the rocker arms are on these so obviously it's a single cam if you don't know much about the m30 it's a single cam running through the middle of the head with the cam journals cast into the head and then machine so that cam's running central and then running from the front of the head to the back you've got two sort of rocker shafts and on there you've you've obviously got rockers and for your inlet site, your inlet and your exhaust. Uh, most of these components have been upgraded, so we've got new shafts. Uh, generally, BMW, well not generally, BMW did design it to run a spring. So the spring would keep sort of the rocker arm pushed up against, there's a little spring clip that sits on the shaft there, would keep it, kept, kept it sort of pushed up against there. And uh, which is a pretty good system, but when you start reaching higher revs and prolonged sort of higher revs, you can see the rocker arm sort of start to compress that spring further along the shaft and then obviously you're going to slip, slip off the side of the, the top of the veil which is going to, like, it's not really going to run cause too great. Carnage. Like yeah, <laughs> cause carnage. Yeah, cause carnage. So we've got sort of stops, um, billet stops that have been made and fitted on there and that keeps that shaft nice and solid in there. Mm. So that's, that's yeah, a lovely awesome. little upgrade and of course aftermarket sort of yeah, rocker arms as well. well. I don't know if they're billet or what but yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah, they're very nice. Not sure on the manufacturer of them. Mm. And valve adjustment on these is via a little on the end here, you've got an eccentric sort of lobe with a little hole in it. So slacking off that nut, 
rotate that eccentric lobe around until you've got sort of your desired bail clearance. Mm. So all in all, yeah, some very nice bits. The spray bar, that's also upgraded. Um, mm. So that's dual chamber, I believe. And then we've also got the camshaft's not standard either, so it's um, no, de it's debilis, job really, yeah. however you however you want to pronounce yeah. it, you have a go at that. But it's a 290 <laughs> degree camshaft, so paired with the bottom end, it's going to be uh, it's going to be lovely. Mm. And then you've got these as well. We have indeed. So you'll notice these these big monsters poking out the side, which of course we're going to have our RHD throttle bodies sort of paired on there like that. Um, top that off with some trumpets. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to get this <laughs> yeah. fitted in the engine bay. They're a good sounding engine as they are. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we've sort of got the best of both worlds. So a lot of people could have just, just thrown a slightly newer engine, you know, S50 swaps, S54 swaps, or mm. even more modern sort yeah, of motors in there. Yeah, they've all been done, haven't they? Yeah, they've all been done. Um, I don't know about you, but it's, I quite like sort of a mix of old and new. So we've mm. got, you know, the beating heart is, is basically Nothing too new there, and then we're putting sort of fuel injection in there, which we're which we're going to talk talk about now. Yeah, yeah. It's um, these are fuel injected from factory anyway um, in the E28, um, but obviously Ian's changing to these throttle bodies and a completely, essentially modern fuel injection system, which yeah. is very cool. So it's all been run by an Emerald, I think it's K6 ECU. Yeah. Um, so obviously that's a huge change from from what these had originally, which was a bit of a slab of an ECU that yeah. probably had about as much intelligence as an ant. <laughs> Quite a hefty uh, weight under the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, whereas this is obviously a state-of-the-art system. Um, so they'll be running off a custom mooring loom, um, which actually Emerald have been really good and it's all plug and play. Um, we haven't tried it yet, but that's what we're told. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's running a cam trigger wheel off the front where the distributor, distributor used to be. Um, so that's what all this stuff is here. Um, so it blanks off the distributor and then you've got a cam position sensor in there. Um, got an adjustable um, cam sprocket as well. So cam timing will be adjustable um, to get it all set up nicely uh, once it gets to the mapping stage. Because um, of course on these, your distributor, well, varying engines place their distributor in mm. different places, but they actually sit up front and they sort of Right yeah, on the top so of the right, engine, right the front and then the feed cam. the wires over the top, whereas this will get, do away with all of that. So it does make the, well, I think the rocker cover on these is, well, it's beautiful. It is, frankly. and it's they're covered. A, they're by, a lovely, yeah. smooth, they have BMW written on the top, mm -hmm. and by losing that distributor off the front, it really cleans it up. Yeah, definitely, and the standard intake manifold actually loops back over the head, whereas this will obviously have everything off the side, so um, it won't be maybe instantly recognisable as an M30 to, to those that aren't familiar with them once you get under the skin, but... Um, it still remains very much an M30, yeah. it? you know, it's, it's what came with the car originally and um, it's modernised and really fits in with the sort of resto mod theme that Ian's going for. Yeah, best of both worlds. Mm, um, we've also got a couple more upgrades from VAC. Obviously we use these on pretty much every engine build mm, that do, goes yeah. through, goes in and out the door, don't we? Mm. So this is an upgraded pump shaft and sprocket. Mm. So we'll get the oil pump stripped down, cleaned up and rebuilt back up with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, sort of quite a nice little upgrade and mm, stops her stops her nut backing off and yeah. keeps it all nice and locked and yeah, I'm looking forward to with the higher revving. We don't, obviously don't want any failures in the oil pump because that will result in well, yeah. no, we see catastrophic failures. It's, it's quite popular to um, spot weld the nut, um, which you got a nice video of the other day. Yeah, an S51. Um, um, I mean, the quality of the weld's questionable, but um, yeah, but it just shows you that you know, a lot of people just you know tack weld that nut and. It has no strength whatsoever, um, yeah. unless it's really done properly. And if you're really doing it properly, you'll probably put enough heat through the oil pump shaft to actually ruin it. Basically, make yeah, it's it, true. You're yeah. going to be weakening that, that oil yeah. pump shaft. So it's a, it's not the way to do it essentially. So so vac oil pump upgrade kits are our tried and tested method uh, with everything we do. Yeah. Well, the problem with engines, isn't it? Is they, I wouldn't say that they don't escalate, but mm. if you do one thing nice. You don't want to risk the one thing you've done nice being ruined by an engine yeah, failure because yeah. something else fails. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, I think that's normally the way they I go. I think that's pretty much what's yeah, happened with Ian, really. Uh, oh, I've got this nice head, I'll put it on there. Oh, but, yeah. but then what if, uh, you know, what if uh, something's not very nice down the bottom or the oil mm. pump fails? Oh, yeah, then I'll do the oil pump. Oh, well, why are the oil pumps there? Oh, the bores are a bit worn. Yeah. You know, it'd be a shame to have all that performance up there with, yeah. with a load of worn bores. That's certainly the story of the couple of builds we've got in at the moment, really. Yeah, I think it's the story um, of most builds, isn't it? It's very... Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Dave's S50, which I'm in the middle of building next door. And um, yeah, that's just, that's one that's escalated. Yeah, what did, what, 
actress came in for a noisy clutch release bearing. Noisy clutch release bearing. <laughs> then a yep. seized, a seized belousing bolt. Yeah, and then head Sorry. gasket, and then pulled the head off, and balls yeah. were Heading not in a good shape at all. But yeah, subject, but yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the same story, isn't it? Very much so. Engines. Other get. than I think Ian was a little bit more prepared for it. Uh, yeah, it was the idea escalated in his head before it came here, rather than the other way around. But, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it should be a really, really good build. We haven't. I haven't done an awful lot with M30s, to be fair. We've done no, bits and, bits did a and nice one, um, local one that was running on triple Webers that um, was yeah. quite fruity. But yeah, that's going to be um, have a slightly different intake noise. Mm, yeah, that should be good. Um, but yeah, this is this is the first one I've really gone quite this far with. Yeah, big, as big in-depth so. sort of. Um, mm. As I say, they're not not as popular. I think they're probably more no. popular in the states. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd I think say there's so. quite a following for them over there. Yeah, people, people and to be honest, that, the most people six. just chuck a turbo on them, which yeah, there's time and a place for. But yeah, yeah. Um, certainly as the time is and nowhere and the place is it's nowhere. far more interesting to to be doing this this thing with it. So uh, yeah, be interested to see how it comes together. Hopefully, that's given you a little overview of, of the parts we're going to be fitting to the car, and uh, join us for next episode when we well actually get some of these parts and start putting putting mm. it together and get the beating heart of the E28. Yeah. Yeah, Back up good. and running. If you don't want to miss that, do make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, it really helps us out with uh, essentially working out what you all want to see and then we can make more of it. So I uh, hope that covers you for another episode and we'll see you next time.